Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today's job is going to be fitting some shelving again on this wall. I want to keep the floor nice and clear so I'm going to make myself a filing system on shelves and we'll just get it started. Right, to start with, I've gathered all the things together that I require. So obviously I've got my drill and I've got my shelf brackets. I've got four of those because I'm doing two shelves. A set square, spirit level, screws and row plugs. And there are the boards I'm using. I'm just using floor boards for this because it worked out cheaper for myself. Also, I can cut them down to whatever length they require to get them onto the wall. So now I need to do is find out my level by using this piece of wood here. I'm also using this wood on an upright at the end just to stop the files from falling out. So now, yeah, let's get this one started and we'll see where we go from there. First job I need to do is I need to get my wood, a spirit level and my tape measure. And I need to work out how high I want my first shelf. Right, so I've got to bring myself a file over just to make my life a little bit easier so I can work on my, what's happening. Now my bottom shelf needs to be at 20 inch I'm thinking, which means my next shelf will be at 34. 34 is. Yeah, that should be okay. Perfect. Right, so my first shelf's going to be 20 inches. So I need to make a mark at 20 inch. About there will work. Now I need my piece of wood. Put a spirit level on it. And that looks just about right. Now I'm going to do a straight line straight across this just so I know where I'm at. There we go. I've left it a little bit short, because my mark's there anyway, but I've stopped my mark there. Because I want this only to go to the edge, in any case. <clears throat> and this piece of wood's a little bit too long, which is still okay. So now I need to work out my thickness of my board. Board. And the board is three quarters of an inch. Right, so now I need to work that. I've got that measurement. I think it might even be the same thickness as that. No, it's not, but anyway, so I've nine. Uh, so it was 20 inch. Now I wanted it to be Yeah, so that's the top of the shelf, 
and that's going to be the bottom of the next one. So I'm going to quickly do a line across there. Needs to go up. Oh, not that much. Maybe not. Let's see, there it is. Right, just to make sure I've got everything right. <coughs> And I'm working in between, so that goes as 28 over 15. And that's perfect. Nice and level between the shelves. And I need to work out how long I want the shelves. I want them stopping just short of the desk. So I want them. I suppose I could do the same length as the desk, which is two and a half, uh, 24 and a half inch. Yeah, 24 and a half inches will be absolutely fine. And we'll go downstairs and get all those sorted out and I'll get them cut. Right, so I've got my boards pushed together. These are tongue and groove boards, so they've got a gap going down. That's why there's a little bit of a a lip on this side so it slots together nicely. Now I'm going to take off the end and yeah. I've also got my homemade uh, my homemade clamp as well. Just makes my life a lot easier. Let's get that one down to the right height. Because the last thing you want to do is get them to move. That's difficult. Right on a screw. Let's move it. Right, so that's going nowhere. Now I've got a big set square today. And let's do a straight line. I'm going to use straight through there. And I'll quickly, quickly get it cut up. Right, so that's cut up now. I'm going to remove my clamp. Now I'm going to move it forward 24 and a half inches. forward now, reattach the clamp again. And once again, I'll get it cut.
now cut up. I'll take this off for the last time. Right, that's a demonstration. That's how your tongue and groove looks on the floorboards. And same on this one. And then two just slot together like that. And that's how they make the tight fixture. On the floor, on the shelves, I'm actually gonna be using them like this, but I'm gonna be taking that one off there with the chisel and just make it nice and clean. So it looks nice as a shelf. Right, I'm back in my workroom again now. Just gonna put my clamp on the middle. Just to make sure it's all nice and tight. That's about right. Yeah, that was okay. Let's give that another kink. There we go. Now I need to get an off-cut board. Just so I know where these are gonna sit. Put that on there a second. Let's have a look. That's gonna go that way around. That'll be decent. I'm gonna put my board at the back and sit that on it. Just so I know it's nice and tight up to the wall. So there's my hole. I need to attach the screw to. Grab a screw, grab my drill. Put that back on again. Before I screw it on nice and tight, I'm just going to sit my piece of wood back up again. That looks okay. I'm not tightening it down completely yet. That's nice and tight. Let's do the other side. There's the other bracket. Now on this one, I actually want to make sure it's even. So. there to the centre. That one, make sure it's still nice.
Right, so that's the first bracket on. Take my clamp off. And we'll have a quick look to see how that looks against the wall. Right, so I've got my shelf all put together. Put my spirit level on top. Now that was gonna be the, well, that's looking good already. I am gonna clean the edges up with some sandpaper. in there quickly mark all these holes I'll do one at a time oh, the fix. this is really where you could do with the second person quickly use my hammer drill and put some holes in the wall and I'll be back with you when we start fitting it to the wall itself. Right, I've got my shelves, I've also got the screws, got myself some sandpaper and I'm just going to quickly just clean up this edge on that side. I'm going to quick clean up on this one. Cleaned up now. Get my drill. And now for the fun bit. Leaning over myself while attaching it to the wall. So I think to start with I might even use a screwdriver. Just to get my first one in. Started. Let's get my first one on the other side started as well. That one's in, so I'm not pushing them all the way in at the moment. I'm going to tighten them up by hand just to make sure they're not going to fall off. So that's the first shelf in now. All I need to do now is repeat it for the next one. But before I do that, I will just take this front lip off. So I shall grab my chisel. Can you see both sides? Yeah, you can. So I'm going to quickly just take this lip off.
So that's now all off. I'm going to quickly run down it with a piece of sandpaper and to make the edges look nice. Okay, that looks perfect now. Now all I need to do is get my next one up here. And I'll do that off camera quickly and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. Right, as you can see, the shelves are now in place. They're all nice and fixed in now. Now I need to get the piece this in. Now I want it to go the side. I want it to go up. So basically I need to get my spirit level on it. Doesn't matter where it goes on the perpendicular at the moment as long as it's level so I can mark it. Something about there. Okay, so that's that marked. Just mark the inside that I need to remove. So that's that one marked up now. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just cut those out with the saw and I'll show you what I've done in a moment. Right, so I've now got those all cut out. A piece of wood goes in nicely. So now I need to mark up where I'm going to do my attachments. I'm going to pilot the holes out first. There we go, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I've got two lines there, that's the top of the shelf, bottom of the shelf, and one down there for the top of the shelf. Obviously, the bottom of the wood is the bottom of the shelf. So I'm gonna quickly get those piloted, and I'll be back with you in a moment to when I hammer them in. Right, I've got those in now. Got the nails already primed. Just get those in there. And now give this a good whack. Is going to hold the file quite nicely. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is perfect. Right, so that is that job jobbed. And I will see you next week for whatever excitement we've got planned. And at the moment, I haven't got a clue, but I'm sure we'll find something in the process of changing this house to a home. As usual, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the little bell to get told when a new video gets posted. It seems to be every Monday now when they're going live. And I will see you next week.